people, this is the third show, Brett B. from Outer Space, and uh, I want to do some interviews on How Perfect Is My Brother is the first one. So, Chad Borkwin and I, like he says, have been brothers all of our lives, and uh, we do a lot of things together, so I thought it'd be really cool to have him on, and of course that was him playing guitar on that first section. Um, and to talk about a little bit about th things that he has going on in his life, which are a ton of stuff. So I think for that, um, Chad, just for the guitar players, can you kind of do a rig rundown here for you, for, for them? Yeah, sure. Um, well, the overall sound is coming from the Kemper, which is, I just basically right now, they, they will do so much, and I use this in my studio all the time. Um, right now, I'm using a Jim Lil. Um, if you guys know him, he creates all kinds of video stuff out of Nashville, but he also creates profiles. Um, this is, was his Z-Ray uh, model that he did. So I'm not doing anything other than the amp on that one currently because I've got my pedal board here that I'm using. Normally live, I actually run a, a Vox um, and a Dr. Z and I run them stereo. So the Maz 18 on the, on the Dr. Z and the, an AC 15 on the Vox. So then on the pedal board, uh, to start with, I've got this origin effects compressor, Cali 76. I love this compressor. Um, I did not have one of these and a buddy of mine let me take it home. And an hour later I was trying to figure out how I was going to get one of these because it's just such a smooth, very versatile compressor. So I, I pretty much just leave that on all the time. Then I've got down here on the, uh, you know, I've got a switcher that basically runs all my overdrive. So I've got a couple Paisley pedals. One of them's the Deluxe, which the Deluxe is, has the original Paisley on it plus the Oh gosh, I can't remember what they call it, but it's got another kind of more of a fuzz based overdrive on it. And then I use the actual Paisley drive for my, my heavier solo boost. Uh, effects wise, I'm running, you know, the Brigadier for the delay. It's a Brigadier tap start by Strymon for the delay. And then the reverb is also a Strymon Blue Sky. So occasionally I'll pop in that trim low and then occasionally I'll do clear off to the left, you can see that R, RV6, or Rev6, I think it is, um, boss. I really use that pretty much just for fill stuff between songs, or like when I play at church a lot, I use it for like for this type of, these type of sounds. It's got a really cool purpose for that, so. And then uh, right now I'm playing a GNL Telecaster cool. for my guitar. You have a lot of those guitar thingies, don't you? I do. Yeah. What's a, What are the different? All the different ones you like? Um, gosh. So I've got, I think five Michael Kellys. I have an endorsement deal with them, so I ended up with quite a few of those. Most of them are well, a lot of are Tellys, but I've got some of their kind of less polished style ones too. The uh, got a Q string instruments uh, local artist. Quentin that built a guitar. I use that at Telecaster as well. Uh, Mike Schmidt, our guitar tech, built me a Eric Johnson style Stratocaster. So I use that quite a bit too. And gosh, what else is in there? There's a, I'm trying, I've got them all hung up on my wall, most of them. So I'm trying to picture my wall. Oh, you know what? Then I've, I've got, <laughs> I've got one of the original Steve Vai Jim's hot pink. I mean, it's, it's beat up. Yeah. It's all beat up. Um, I use that for Devil Went Down in Georgia all the time, and it's just, it's a crazy fast neck on that guitar. Or, so. I have to, I'm not a guitar, but I'm more mm -hmm. of a bass player, but are, uh, are gems coming back? Is it like a, is there like a deal there? Yeah, there is. Um, in fact, I have a lot of kids come up and ask me if I've got the, what they call it, the reissue or the Jap, the, a Taiwan or a Japanese version or whatever they're asking me, I can't remember. It's like, nope, nope, this one is older than you, you know? <laughs> this is yeah. one, one, one of the original ones. This is a real deal. <laughs> real deal. Cool. 
All right. Um, so, you know, I feel like I'm asking you a bunch of questions I already know the answers to. But what else do you have going on? Well, what else in music and then what else addition to music do you okay. have going on? Okay. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, Brett and I have been in Big Time Grain Company. We started that, gosh, I don't know, eight years ago now. And on normal, normal circumstances, we're touring around all summer long, um, traveling the Midwest. Uh, well, actually beyond that, we're hitting about 10 states right now. Um, and then within that, we have what's called the Dream Big Series. Uh, the Dream Big Series is where we take Big Time Grain Company and we go into schools and we play concerts for kids at schools. And then we talk to them just about what it takes to really you know, pursue your passion and your dreams and figure out what your inner rock star is or, or your zone of genius. You know, we've, we've talked to enough, well, not just kids, but I mean, I, there's adults that don't know the answer to the question of what do you want to do with your life, you know, or what, do you, what is it you're really passionate about, you know? And if you don't figure this out early on in years, um, or if you figure it out and you don't go after it and you don't get it, some people just completely f have forgotten what their passion is. And so we go in, we do these concerts, and we, we break between songs for short little videos from friends of ours like Lester Estelle from the drummer for Kelly Clarkson, uh, Daniel De Los Reyes is the percussion player from Zach Brown, Jeremy Warden was the uh, bass player for Jared Neiman for, for years, uh, we've got a few new ones that we've recorded recently. Dan Weller, a local Kansas City guy, plays plays for the Florida Georgia Line. But these guys all just kind of share and edify the message that that we're we're giving to these kids. And then and then about ten minutes of that whole fifty minute deal, I'll, I'll talk to the kids a little bit about the you know here's first of all if you don't know what what your inner rock star is, here's how you figure it out. Once you figure it out, or if you know it, then here's here are the things it takes to go after that. And those, you know, a lot of that comes down to how we think, you know, how we act, how we, how we treat people. You know, we just don't get anywhere in life by ourselves, and we don't get anywhere in life treating people bad, um, and we don't get anywhere in life treating ourselves bad and not thinking right. And so, if we can help instill that at that age, um, you know, I know I could have used a little more of that when I was <laughs> their age, for sure. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So. Cool. Uh, um, what else? The, uh, we're doing music licensing, Brett and I are. We write and create songs. That's on our website, borkwins.com. That's real easy to spell. And uh, that has uh, all kinds of instrumental type tracks that you know people are using for, we've got people using them for ad videos, for promotion deals, for their, for their launches to their um, introductions to their videos. And then we've got stuff on there that'll work on movies and all kinds of things as well. Uh, I've got a booking agency, and this all this sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. All these things going on at the same time, but they all they all actually function together. Uh, booking agency is called Generation Relevant, and I book I book probably about a hundred acts a year or so in uh, Kansas City in the area. Work with a lot of shopping centers like Zona Rosa and the Plaza and Town Center and in uh, Legends and whatnot. And then my newest thing that that happened because. Of, of a lot of live entertainment just kind of the bottom falling out for a little while and I, I want to reiterate a little while I don't believe it's gone for forever or even much longer but I started helping a tech company uh, launch a scanner that will identify COVID in you know night or seconds it'll do it non-invasively and and it's we're not having any false negatives or false positives, so it's a game changer for everything, including the entertainment industry. So I'm excited about that as well. That's a big that's a big deal. I kind of feel like I'm I might have just lucked out. I had the first interview <laughs> about something brand new that could bring the entertainment music uh, in, industry back. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I think you did get the first interview. Did I? I'm not supposed to be giving interviews, but, you? but you're my brother, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't give anything away, so we're good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, well, that's awesome. Um, I know you, that you work really hard, and you love the instrument of guitar. So you want to play another one? Should yeah. Do another one? Yeah, for sure. So on this one, last week I talked a little bit about um, Superior Drummer 3 and how to 
use this, the song creator selection. Um, and we're going to try this out because we can. Um, and we have a, since Chad and I also do a little bit of some country stuff as well, we're going to try this in country beat. I've, I filtered this out to pop rock country and then I found a, another filter that's a train beat. So I'm going to test this out to um, kind of audition it. So, okay, let's try that and take that particular MIDI loop and just drop it in the zone. And then you have your song creator that pops up with a few different options. So I think for ease of sake, we're just going to we'll try the 12 bar basic because we can handle basic, right? Yes, basic's um, good. Once again, this is Superior Drummer 3, and we are in the song creator part, so. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's engage our drummer. And I say this, I said this last time, but I'll say it again. Um, we would always prefer to play with a real drummer. This is not, real drummers have feel, just like real guitar players have feel, and singers have feel, and you cannot replace that. Um, so hopefully, maybe one of the next ones we can get a drummer in here. So here yeah, we go. a real a drummer with feelings. A drummer with feelings <laughs> instead of my uh, <laughs> MacBook Pro. Let's see what kind of feelings our MacBook Pro has here. All right, let's give this a shot here.
at the right beat. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> All right, Chad, thanks again for being here today. Um, yeah, so where's the best place to find you? Um, well, just if you want to check out music stuff, you know, bigtimegrain.com is great. Dreambigseries.com is great. Uh, LinkedIn, you know, just to connect with me. It's just Chad Borkwin on LinkedIn. Very easy to find me there. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, man. Um, I just hit the wrong button. And um, here we go. And had our, our uh, outro card come in. So maybe it's time to quit. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again. Uh, if you like what you heard, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, we're going to get some more people on here and share their gifts, do some interviews, maybe keep doing some tutorials type stuff. Um, yeah. And also, if you're interested in streaming your own show, I've got the list of gear in, in the notes that shows you how to do it and kind of what equipment we've chosen to use and all that good stuff. So, all right. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time.